What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Takeover with Barry. Um, we're starting in a slightly different screen today. Um, I just wanted to show you guys uh, how the results went. So last time we played against was against Yeovil. We won 3-0. No? And uh, as time has been going on, um, MK Dons 0-0. Uh, we've lost one game. And um, take you into the main screen. Uh, we lost one game. And it wasn't, it was in the Caribou Cup. So we were running in the standard formation of the 4-1, 4-1, uh, 2-3. And it just wasn't doing for us. They came in and they got their first goal. Oh, we got the first goal. And uh, then they came through and they just uh, outplayed us in the next next goal. And then the next two goals as well. Just quick back-to-back -back goals. And it's, yeah, they, they outplayed us. They had 14 shots in 11. And um, they are in a slightly higher division than us, so it it wasn't a bad, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, it's just unfortunate that we we conceded in that game. Then we came up against uh, Forest Green, and we came back with a decent score. Again, um, we we were quite lucky. The game was very close, as you saw. Uh, as you can see, it's five three, and um, Forest Green opened the scoring. And it yeah it was looked like it was going to be a one-sided game again. Um, we came through and we got a equalizer. Um, it was a decent play through with the guys. <clears throat> it was good cross O'Shea with a shot of a header there, and then Forest Green came through with the second goal, and it looked like they were going to run away with the game. They were having more shots than that in the in it and a, a lot more possession until we came through and we got the equalizer and then that's when things just seemed to turn around once we got the equalizer in um there was two quick goals in the just before first half and then we got three goals after the first half so it wasn't too bad um one goal there was a, an own goal by uh, forest green so it was just a bit unlucky for them that's just the way the game goes eh Guys have been okay. Uh, we still played the same formation here. Um, so after this, we changed the formation a little bit. And because uh, I was a bit disappointed about letting the three goals through. And it <coughs> so, and it, it's finished here. It's helped out. Um, we got through some good good points in that. Um, all tackled there. Dawson with the ball. And this is just where they got the own goal so after that we changed the formation a bit um, obviously the guys didn't know how the formation was so that's pretty much how it was uh, match stats we had 13 shots and only three on target they had nine shots three on target so it yeah it wasn't a fantastic game and then after that it's when the now Crawley at this point was first in the league we were sixth on the table we started off with a cracker uh, two minutes into the game, uh, five minutes into the game, sorry, we got the first goal. Moore with it, he crosses it over, and Maynard with a nice header puts it in the back of the net, sending the keeper to his far left. Bar Jones coming in with an assist here, and this is a superb strike here by Moore. Moore puts it in the top left-hand corner uh, for the keeper again. Bar Jones again with another assist. Puts it in, Moore with another good shot, so Moore picked up two there. <laughs> Phillips, Maynard, back to Phillips, and then Phillips just crosses it in. Bar Jones with a superb strike. Uh, after having three assists, he gets glorified with a goal. This is his third assist, and O'Shea puts it in the back of the net there. Or oh, shot, I'm sorry, not O'Shea. Moore with a third on a penalty, and uh, that brought us up to six. Then we came up against Morricone, and it only came with the one goal from Bar Jones to Moore with a superb strike, and he got it into the back of the net nicely. And then we came up against Wolves under 23s. It's a check it trade trophy. We won that 2 1. Uh, we were down 1 0. And uh, <coughs> luckily we came back. And. Uh, not long after they scored the 1-0, we came back with a equalizer and then got a, the second goal halfway through 70th minute and then a goal disallowed in the last minute. So it could have been 3-1, three, three but unfortunately it was offsides. 
Then not long after this, we came back with a reply. Adams put across Maynard, been playing superbly. He's found some incredible form. Maynard, um, Bart Jones with the assist again. On from the corner, O'Shea. So we've got a couple of players I want to show you that we've had some superb play from. And then after that, we came up against Grimsby. Grimsby was sitting in 17th. We were sitting in first place. And unfortunately, we conceded three goals and lost that game. And it was uh, pretty much a one-way game for them. Um, it looked like it was going to be a, a, a tight match. It was 1-0 uh, for a while, about the 20th minute. And then we came through with about five shots on target. And then the ball finally went into the back of the net with Meyer. And uh, unfortunately, after that, we, there's not much we more we could do. We had a hell of a lot more shots, but uh, no clear-cut chances. And um, yeah, they just were slightly better than us on the day. But we'll get revenge on them in the season, hopefully, if we don't lose to them again. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. And it's those quick fuse games. Then we played up against Swindon. We got that 5-1. And it was a very good game again, a one-sided match towards us. Uh, we had dominant possession and shots as well. So, yeah, we're not complaining about the loss. And then 25 shots and only nine on target. So that went in nicely there. Aims in with the first goal. Then Mayer <coughs> comes in again past Jones. O'Shea with a superb strike. And that was a very, very, very funny strike. It actually curved on the floor. And uh, yeah, so if you saw that strike from the goalless side, it was quite a nice one. And there, Mayer got a deflection off the post and then managed to get it back into the back of the net. Miller with the cross there and it just gave it to Bart Jones. And he just found a nice place off Mayer, getting a second there. And then we came through. Yeah, it's just too many goals to actually talk about. You know, it's it. It was just good play. Bar Jones with a superb strike, uh, about 20 meters out, and just nobody had any answer for it. <coughs> and then Swindon just played nice, played nicely there. Looked like it was an own goal, but um, uh, just it was one of those things. They just got it in. Then we came up against Carlisle, and it's was a good game again uh, dominated possession everything this new tactic they were using I'll show you the tactic just now it's it's actually quite it's working quite well uh, first goal came from a corner Moy with a brilliant strike and it came off Shotton I was actually quite lucky it was a deflection and then um, Bar Jones got the assist with Shotton getting the goal then Bar Jones and Telford's very first game of the season as a starter and he got his first goal as well and then uh, we tried again and then Moy gives it to O'Shea, O'Shea finally gets a good goal in the back of the net there. Now we're going to come up against Colchester. Colchester is sitting currently in 13th place. We are currently in, I'll show you guys now, second in the Skybet League uh, to show you the stages. We one point behind and um, we've only lost the one game when we've drawn two. So that's why we're behind by one point. And Exeter have lost two games. But it's a pretty close game. Um, it's pretty much five points difference from eighth place up to first place. And it's it's yeah, it's, it's a very close game at the moment. But we're only nine games into the season. So hopefully we can get through and do some damage. Get some games going forward. O'Shea has been playing really well. Um, he's played eight game, nine games in total. He's got five goals and he's got an average of 7.4. As you can see, he's pretty well-rounded and he's playing in a, a, D, a advanced playmaker position. This is the tactic that we're running with the wing there. Um, this should also be on wing on, a ta on attack. And um, we've got Stokes in the... Wing back, sorry, and um, yeah, so so they're going to push forward, and then I've got a nice linking here where he's going to be pushing forward. Telford has played uh, one game in the league, and he got the first goal there. He's played two on the bench, and he's averaging on a seven point two. And uh, 
We've got Moore, who's been superb as well. He's got nine games and four goals on those. He's on a 7.44, and all four of his goals have come from a corner. So that's quite cool there. Um, Mayer as well, um, he's played eight games and he's got six goals. So he's playing, he's been brilliant. He's been really brilliant. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just very good for him. And then um, Maynard, who's uh, on the bench now, I'll give you reasons why now. He's got eight games with two goals in an average of 7.13. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, just want to show you guys uh, if you want to see a little bit extra here. Um, this is just the squad view. Uh, downloaded all these views from the Steam Workshop from Work the Space, and they're quite quite handy views, and it's quite nice. You can see that most of our goals are our starters are all got the goal scorers, and that Sol Shutton, who's been superb as well, he's got a 7.5 average, played eight games, two goals, but he's just unfortunately on the bench now, for, uh, or not on the bench, he's on resting now for this game because he's a bit winded, so he'll be sitting out for this match. And uh, yeah, notably, um, Bobby Coping is a promising youngster. He seems to be coming up quite well. Um, as you can see, he's, he's developing really well. I'm quite happy with his development. And uh, <coughs> his form hasn't been so bad. Uh, he's averaging on about a 6.3, a 6.6. .6, so he's doing good. It's it's not bad at all. And I'm quite happy with his his performances that he's had when he's come off on the bench and that's why his, his uh, skills are going up and uh, he is, yes he is a up and coming youngster which is pretty decent and we got quite a few got Caleb Hullman who's injured at the moment he's also been pretty well he's played three games and he's got a 6.5 average um, also his stats and that are increasing quite a bit his determination is going up you know, it's it's crazy how good these guys are getting so quickly. It's five to sixteen, fifteen to sixteen, so it's definitely climbing, and it's probably going to go even higher. And hopefully, we can get some decent playing out of them because he is a potential four star, and so is Bobby Coping. So, yeah, good players, very good players that I got in the side. Caleb Styles has also been in quite good form. He's played the two games so far. He's on a seven point one average, and uh, he's not doing too bad at all. Also, his stats are also climbing up quite well. He's developing very nicely. Um, his determination is a little bit low, but it's uh, it's not too bad. He's going up. Um, he's climbing quite rapidly, so that's also a good thing to see. But uh, uh, we'll take a look at the tactic for this next game that we're coming up against. So this is the team we're going to be running with. Um, most of the guys that are, have link-ups are a little bit injured and like Shutton who's got a link up as well he's uh, tired and that he's exhausted so he's not going to be playing and uh, so this is the team we've got Murphy in at goal Stokes on the wing back on the right left I haven't played a win back yet so and this is just a trial here to see how he goes and then we've got O'Connor in the defense a ball playing defender and Ameson in the central defender on defense and then Miller on fullback at attack we got uh, ball winning midfielder St Styles. Styles, like Asho said, he's been really good. He's been played two games so far, and he's he's been shining quite well. Bar Jones, absolutely superb. Nine goals, three, three, um, nine games, three goals, ten assists. So he's brilliant. He's on an average of eight game eight in a ra in, in rating. So, if anyone wants, I suggest you sign him up. Um, we got him in on a loan at the moment, and he, he's just superb. You can just check him. Yeah, he's he's really good. And it's fantastic. So if any of you want to see, get him in, get him into your lower league team, and yeah, hopefully he'll develop into a superb superstar someday. And then we got more in the wing back on the wing support. O'Shea at an advanced playmaker on attack, Mayer at on wing on attack, and Talford is going to be starting his second game on <coughs> uh, false nine on support. And uh, the reason why we've left Maynard out is solely because his contract expired. And he has been bought and signed a contract for Hibernian, Hibernian team. They're in a premiership league and they're coming ninth in their premiership league at the moment. So, yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't re-sign him. He was asking way too much. He wanted a nearly two, 2K wage and it's, it just wasn't going to happen. The, the board wouldn't, wouldn't let us pay more than 800 for him. So unfortunately, that's just how it goes. And uh, yeah, but uh, until then, let's get on with the game and we'll see what happens.
So the guys are coming out now onto the field. They're going to do their lineup, and um, yeah, hopefully we can put on a decent performance. It's an away game for us, so let's just hope that something can come out of it. Um, just during this mundane highlights, I just want to let you guys know that uh, yeah, I'm hoping to have this this uh, episode airing on preferably Saturday, but if not, it'll be Sunday, and then on Tuesday, uh, I think it's Tuesday. Should be my first episode coming out on the hot seat save. If you guys would like to just follow that as well, that would be quite good. Um, it's, it's, it's okay, you know, I'm not going to give you guys any details of what's happening. And uh, once you get into the hot seat save, uh, then I can start talking about the hot seat save. But until then, you guys are just going to have to wait until it comes out. But it's, it's yeah, it's been a cracker of a save. And it's been a fast save. I've had to. That's why I've delayed on my own set game. This is today is the first time I played on the own game, and yeah, it's been quite a cracker of a, a save. And uh, just to let you all know that it is sponsored by Absolute FM, which is also sponsored by Two Game dot com. So if you go onto their website, I'm sure if you check on the website, you can find some decent games in that from Two Game dot com. But until then, uh, let's get on with this game and see how things are going. We seem to be okay. We seem to be attacking. Um, got the ball coming in Telford with a header, and it's nicely saved there by Barnes. So far, we've had two go two shots, two attempts, and uh, both of them on target. Bar Jones with a shot, and it gets deflected. Styles reclaims the ball and gives it to Ameson, and nothing comes on that. So at the moment, no shots off target, so that's a good thing. And off to O'Shea. O'Shea goes for a shot and it's wide. Our first one off target. So it's four off shots, one off target. That's not too bad. Bar Jones with the corner. He hooks it in high to O'Connell. O'Connell loses the ball. It tries to appeal for a free kick, but uh, actors don't get anywhere these days. Vincent Young has got the ball. He's taking it back to his own goal. So hopefully we can get it back. Telford gets the ball. But he just unfortunately just taps it over the defender's head to Barons. Barnes, I should say. Not Barons. Butcher the name quite hectic. Bar Jones gets the ball. Slides out. And he reclaims the tackle. But loses it. Uh, Stokes with it. Mayo on the attack. Uh, is there anybody in there? Nope. Nobody there. Guys are just uh, getting horrible shots at the moment. So I'm I'm not on what to do to get them to stop shooting so much, because uh, yeah, we we have ridiculous amount of shots at the end of the game. We'll probably see maybe anything from 15 upwards. We'll have shots. Bar Jones with it. Mayer Mayer with the shots. Is he gonna go? He does, and it goes wide. And this corner deflected. And it was just over the crossbar there. I'm just going to pause it here quickly, guys. I just need to do some tactical changes on the corners, and then I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, back to the game, guys. Um, we got an attacking throw in there. Moy to Telford. Telford back to Moy. Bar Jones with a shot, and it goes wide. Thirty-seven minutes into the game, and it's deadlocked zero-zero. So, hopefully, we can maybe pull off a draw or get at least a breakthrough just now or early in the second half. Miller with it. O'Shea. All O'Shea put it in. Nope. Took too long to get it there. Nicely tackled there, but still in possession, and it was the cross was defended. Quite decently. Okay, we're gonna mark him up. So here we go for the second half. <laughs> Hopefully we can break this deadlock. Quite a wild cross that was. Miller with the ball, but at least it is just a mundane highlights. Bar Jones with a free kick. 
puts it across. Uh, Telford gets onto the loose ball, gives it to Stokes. Stokes crosses in, uh, and it just cleared out of the, off the line. Colchester seem to be defending quite well here. Um, I'm going to push it onto attack for a few minutes just to get the guys to push up a little bit. Bar Jones on the ball again. Styles O'Shea, O'Shea to Moore. Can Moore finish it off? Oh, straight into the keeper's hands. There was definitely a clear cut chance for us. Styles with the ball. I don't know why he's taking the free kick. Moore, can he finish it off? O'Connell. And nothing comes of that. It was just a waste of a highlight, that previous one. Nicely saved there by Murphy. Goes out for another corner. I had to hold my breath there for a second. Hope they didn't get that goal in. Header from Norris. And obviously Chuck Norris couldn't do much that with that one. So we're going to change attacking back to possessive. Uh, positive. Hopefully it can do a little bit for us. Um, and then we're going to look at making a sub soon. I think we must take out more. So we're going to go into tactics. We're going to take out more. And we're going to put in Nicky Madsen. As well as Maynard in for Telford. And hopefully those two can do some damage. Get some uh, somewhere in the game. Got to defend this throw in now. And it's a wild kick over the top of the post. So we've got 10 shots, 3 on target, uh, 5 off target. So that's not very good at all. Um, so 2 shots have been blocked, basically. So it's about a 50-50 that we're going for and um, the pole looks like it is went for a wild shot gets deflected goes out for a corner so pal not pole sorry pal we just haven't had any much of highlights towards us for this half so they seem to be getting up there better and now it's our first highlight Nicky Adams with it, gives it to O'Shea, O'Shea with a shot, and it goes out for another corner. 11 and 4, also still not a very good situation. Adams again, can he finish it off? Gives it to O'Shea, can O'Shea finish it off? And it goes out for another corner. Styles again to Nicky Adams. Adams with a shot. Oh, just over the bar. Gives us a bit of a motivated boost there. Um, looking at maybe subbing somebody else now. I think it's time that we bring in some fresh legs. I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Bobby Coping, the youngster. Uh, Ameson's not doing so great, so we're going to put Coping in. Give him a run. Styles with the ball. To Maynard, to Adams, sorry. Styles again. Will he cross it and we get something in there? And ooh, yes, Mayer should have had that in another half chance. He should have finished that. From that distance, anyone should finish that. Colchester's not doing so well with their feedback. There's one thing I noticed um, in in my hot seat save. Every time I did a shot, whether it was positive or negative, especially if you're winning and you, you give them a positive shot, they get over zealous and yeah, they just can't seem to get anywhere. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we've lost this game.
it's just a poor defense. Nobody there goes for the shot, comes off the crossbar, and uh, Dickinson just gets onto the loose ball and puts it in the back net. That was a good goal for them, not going to deny that. And uh, yeah, so we're not going to definitely not going to get anything out of this game. Well, that's full time. But anyway, it was it wasn't a bad bad showing. Um, we didn't do too bad. Chris Stokes with the best of best average there. He gets man of the match. Um, yeah, that average rating is not too bad. But go to the dressing room. Tell them that that simply was not good enough. Yeah, just unfortunate that we lost that game. Well, guys, um, as you can see, we are now four points off first place. So they pulled a little bit of a gap there. Um, unfortunately, Colchester gained up a few place, places here. So, yeah, good for them. You know, it's, it's, it's good to see the low, lower teams winning. Um, we were predicted to finish off second in the league. So hopefully we can do something now off camera and get somewhere in the future. But until then, guys, thanks very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to catch the hot seat save. And, uh, yeah, the, all the links will be, well, obviously not in this video in the description. But you will eventually see them up somewhere. And, um, yeah, but if you follow me, you will see.